hello, hello, hello. Time gets to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make you do what it do loves. This is a love channel. All we talk about is love over here. Record old plain love. We do pick up on divine connections. We also pick up on family, friends, and karmic energy. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm going to jump off into this to see what's going on. What do you need to know right now? For your grace and highest good when it comes to your connections. What is the energy for my collective at this time? Somebody got a bad reputation. So someone around you could have a bad reputation. Someone could be saying that you have a bad reputation. Someone connected to you may have a bad reputation. Yeah, and whoever this is, their fake smile. So there's somebody around you that is talking bad about you, babies. They're smiling in your face and pretending like they on your team. And the whole time they, they talking bad about you behind your back. Fake smiles. Fake ass people. Yeah, because you out here hustling, making it rain. You focused on your money and you getting it collective. And this person or people are upset. But why lie? Why talk bad about you? Yeah, and they watching, creeping, stalking, watching. Watching you get this money. Pretending to be happy for you. Uh-oh. I'm not taking all of it. They just fell out. This could be somebody in, that wants to be you. Somebody that is in a connection for money. And they're mad because you're uninterested. So somebody that wanted to be in a connection with you but you're uninterested with them they just wanted your money this person could be proud if they don't have a car or they have some kind of car problems whoever this person is they ain't shit let's try one more time yeah whoever it is they looking you up they researching you they studying you they trying to get info on you they see you out here making it rain they see you focused yeah, and they want to come in and give you some type of offer, but this is not a good offer. Okay, guys? Whoever this is, they may have some type of STD as well, so be careful, be mindful. They could have said you had an STD as well. Thank you, Spirit. So somebody's out here saying that you got a bad reputation. Um, They could be saying that you got some type of um sexual disease some type of sexual infection a rash something of that nature and the whole time they're sitting around smiling in your face and talking shit about you behind your back yeah they're receiving bad karma for this though they're receiving bad karma for trying to um defame your character all because you out here making money you didn't want to give them an offer yeah they thought they was gonna get Rob, lost, theft, physical, or emotional. So whoever this is, they thought they were finna get what you got. Okay? They seen you making it rain. Maybe they, like I said, they did say marrying for money. This person could have come towards you telling you they wanted some type of commitment with you or with your person. All for the finances. And you didn't accept they offer. You dusted that shit off. You knew this shit was dirty. It wasn't a good offer. You moved on. Now this person is all in their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing, because you didn't fall for the okie doke. Yeah, you over here unfazed. Now they taking a closer look, they nosy, they all up in your business. But I feel like you knew that this person was a wolf in sheep's clothing. All they wanted was sex from you, a secret lover or a fuck buddy. And like I said, this person could have said you had a bad reputation, that you gave them something, but in all actuality, they got the bad reputation. They the one with whatever this disease is. They're the one receiving this badass karma. The karma could be them catching a disease. Because they fake. They fake and they phony and they thought they were finna come in and use you. Yeah. And you ain't had shit to do with this shit. Now they fed up because it's not working. If they've been telling you people are seeing the truth. People are seeing that you are not what these people are saying about you. 
Yeah, this person thought you was finna give them some money. Babies, if y'all don't keep y'all money in y'all motherfucking pockets. Keep your shit in your pockets. What it say? You know how I say get your shit? Keep your shit. Keep your shit. Keep your shit. Be stingy. Don't give into somebody who is not giving back to you. Use your intuition, babies. This person does not have a good reputation. They may have a sexual disease here. But they fake. They phony. And they want to bring this badass karma over to you. Because they want what you got. And you uninterested. You're not bothered. You're dusting it off. Whatever the offer was they gave you, you didn't want that shit. You dusted that shit right the fuck off and kept on going. Clarify bad reputation. Collect this energy when it comes to their love lives. Clarify bad reputation. Yeah, so this could be someone that you have a twin reunion with. This could be a karmic twin. Says the rescuer, I sacrificed myself for you. And this is somebody who wanted you to come in and rescue them. But I feel like it's a karmic twin. And they were being fake and phony. Clarify these fake ass smiles. Yeah, this person has a bunch of addictions. Like I said, they wanted you to come pay for their addictions. It says drugs, alcohol, codependency, pill popper, lean. My bad habits are affecting me. Yeah, this person was faking. Sorry, guys. My grandbaby is trying out for the cheerleading squad. And she practicing. Tryouts are tomorrow. So, that was her in the background doing her cheers. This person could have had somebody in the background trying to cheer them on to do this bullshit. Because they wanted your money to help support. Y'all hear the car outside, too. To support their drug um, addiction, their alcohol, their codependency. Whatever is their pill poppers, lean. Clarify hustling. Yeah, this person about to blow your phone up, babies, okay? Call, text, email, communication arise. Can't we just talk? But they only come in to talk because they see you shining. They gonna tell you they got a lot of regret, disappointment, grieving, despair. They wish they didn't do that. Whatever they did to you in the past, whatever they said about you. <laughs> yeah, they was talking shit. And now they wish they didn't do it because karma's coming back on that ass. Clarify this offer. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Clarify an offer. Yeah, you blocked the offer. You blocked this shit. And now they mad. But they're going to try to reach back out and come back towards you because they're going to try again. They say, oh, maybe it didn't work that way. I'll try another way. But it says, no way to contact. Social media blocked. Phone, text, email, no go. Unblock me now. They're hoping that you unblock them. Yeah, but you've seen through this person... Their mask fell off. You've seen right through the mask. Hidden agendas, not showing their true self. Disguise, hidden feelings, pretended. You knew this person was pretended, so you blocked this person. Here if I caught a case. Sexual infection. Yeah, it said get your sage on. So this um, STD does not necessarily have to be um, a sexually transmitted disease with this get your sage on. This could also be a spiritually transmitted disease, okay? Um, they could have some type of spiritual entity entity attached to them. A Jezebel, Incubus, Succubus type of energy here. They uh they don't necessarily have to, like I said, have to have an STD as far as sexual. But they could. And they could have been saying you had this STD. But Spirit says get your sage on, cleanse your sacred space, car house crystals, body, sage it down. So with it being sage and cleansing yourself. This could also be somebody getting healed, okay? Yeah, it's a karmic fucking lover, y'all. I can't make this shit up. This is a karmic. They literally may have a STD too, though, okay? Besides the spiritual. Um, it says karmic lover. Lower negative energy, mental, physical, verbal abuse, toxic, unhealthy connection. This is somebody that was a black widow. A karmic person from past life that is hidden by the veil. Family and karmic soulmates. Blood contracts hard to break cords. Told you, I feel like this was a karmic twin. This is somebody's black widow, man or woman, a karmic lover. That's trying to come back and get what you got. Fair five feet. And they're mad because you blocked their asses. You seen through the mask. 
You seen what they were doing. You knew they were talking about you behind your back. That's I see. Could be a feminine energy that was trying to come towards you and steal. So this could be someone that's connected to your third party. This could be a man in feminine energy. But they wanted what you had. They also seen you as someone who was patient, nurturing, intuitive, gentle, expressive. And they thought they were going to be able to come take that and get over on you. Yeah, deception. They thought they were, they were going to be able to charm you because you're patient, because you're nurturing, because you're intuitive and gentle. Right? But you've seen through it. You've seen the deception. You've seen the hidden motives, the tricks, the red flags. You've seen that this person was lying to get by. It was all about sex. The hammer, intimacy, sex, hooking up, wang, wang, majesty, throw, baby, wop. You got that good shit. Yeah, you set personal boundaries with this person. Because you wanted healthy choices, empowerment, direction. Not dealing with this person. And they had all type of entanglements going on. Third party situations and shit. It could have put you in a third party situation. Past life lovers, new lover, here to challenge your masculine or your feminine. So this could be someone's third party as well. This could be your outside person, your past person. What we got? Yeah, they seen you as a go-getter, a hustler, making boss moves. Ambition on the go, watch my footwork, and they wanted some. Yeah, and now they in regret. Disappointment, grieving, despair, I wish I didn't do that. So whatever they did, they wish they didn't do. Because you're a whole golden child out here, Collector. You are the chosen one, the privileged, the superhero, the leader. And I just heard, ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. So I guess you you moving. Grooving. Ain't no stopping us now. We got the move. So y'all on the move. Okay. Collective. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Going on collective energy. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you blocked this person. You stood in your power. You stood your ground. You were brave. You were courageous. And you overcame the obstacles when it comes to this person. You saw through this person's bullshit. And you're not playing. You're not allowing this person back in. Yeah, you went towards your happiness, joyfulness, vitality, optimism, prosperity. And that's what you've been focusing on. And your light is shining. Four leaf clovers may be significant, but you're bright. And they see you. You blocked this person and started focusing on yourself. On prosperity. Yeah. I feel like you had a choice between two lovers. This person could have had a choice between two lovers. They felt like this was some type of divine union or partnership here. Yeah, this is this emperor. But I, I still feel like this is karmic energy for some of you guys. So some of you guys, the emperor is the karmic. For others of you guys, this, this emperor is attached to the karmic. Take it how it, it resonates with you. There could be a feminine energy to this emperor that's attached, that's trying to keep them from coming towards you, that was lying, that had some type of sexual disease here. And it could have been their karmic twin. And this person didn't want this person to come towards you because they seen you out here Hustling, getting your shit on. They didn't want you to get the offer. But for a lot of you guys, this is a karmic masculine. A karmic twin or a karmic soulmate that is trying to come back towards you here. And they see you focused on your money and your prosperity. Yeah, for others of you guys, this is your person, the emperor and the empress. And there's outside energies that's trying to block this connection. These third parties, these black widows. Okay? This emperor wants to come towards you and present you with a love offer. And these third parties don't want them to do that. Okay, by the seven of wands. And they're trying to block it. Nine of swords, yeah. Your person is releasing anxiety. They could be releasing this third party. This could be you releasing fear, releasing anxiety. No longer being trapped or stuck. Take it how it resonates for you. Clarify the sun. Yeah. Difficult endings. Karmic completions. So they're closing out karmic cycles. This could be your person closing out this karmic cycle. This could be you closing out a karmic cycle. Putting an end to things that no longer serve you. 
are no longer serve them. They're making a metamorphosis, a transition. They're releasing because they want to come towards their happiness. And for a lot of you guys, you are the happiness. You're the empress to this emperor. For some of you guys, it's not a karmic twin. This is your twin ray. And they were dealing with a karmic um, black widow. Someone, a karmic soulmate, a karmic twin. Clarify this emperor. Yeah, there's a third party they're releasing. They're done with the third party. They want to come towards you and collaborate. They want to build with you here. I hope you guys can share a vision. Yeah. They see marriage, celebration, manifestation, union with you, with you here. Four of Wands energy. Clarify the Empress. Yeah, they want to reach out and send you some type of love message. Um, you may intuitively know that your person is on their way back to you. You may sense that. But I do feel like this Emperor wants to apologize to this Empress about whoever the third party situation is. They're coming in to present you with an offer here. But there is a karmic energy attached to you or attached to your person or both of you guys that did not want this to come together. Yeah, you guys are coming out as a king and queen of pentacles as well. Okay? So you're coming out as a power couple here. And I do see forward movement for this emperor and empress here. So the, the karmic cycles are closing. Whether this is a karmic connected to you or a karmic connected to your person. And there is a connection coming together with this emperor and this em empress, a divine union. There will be teamwork. There will be love here. This is two people that are coming in. There will be material wealth. They both are generous and reliable, confident and humble, caring, healing, disciplined, community leaders here. And this is coming in very quickly. Okay? So, whether it's you, like I said, walking away from a karmic, your person walking away from a karmic, um, both of y'all walking away from karmic situations so that this connection can come back together very quickly. Yeah, they're coming towards you for a fresh start. Free will. Just know that uh, the karmic energy is going to try to do whatever they can to stop, block, hurt, harm, or keep this from coming together. Even if they have to lie and say you got some type of disease, lie and say you got a bad reputation, whatever they can do. To keep you guys from getting back together, they have tried to do it. Okay, baby, let's get us some zodiac signs. Just know whoever this third party is, this outside person, that shit is coming to an end. And things are about to change in your life, in your romantic connections here. There will be teamwork, there will be... Love. For some of you guys, it could be a brand new emperor walking into your life or a brand new empress walking into your life after you closed out a, a, a connection with a karmic. For others of you guys, um, like I said, you both could be closing out karmics and coming back together here. Or your person could be closing out a karmic situation coming towards you. We got Virgo. This could also be a mother and a father with this empress and emperor. So you could be... Um, the karmic energy could have been a baby's mother or a baby's father as well. We got Pisces. We have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Capricorn. This person could come want to come in and marry you to the King, Queen of Pentacles, as husband and wife. We have Taurus, so all the Earth is here. We have Sagittarius. Who is this love read for? We have Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. One final. Who is this read for? Gemini. Bottom of the deck, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sag, and Gemini. If it resonates for you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.